morning guys, welcome to today's uh, video, being just another one of my kit reviews. Today we will be talking about Sher uh, Dragon Sherman 3 Direct Vision Early Production. Um, I know that a lot of guys uh, have actually gotten that kit as of late, well, because this was on special offer on eBay for a really, really good bargain price, eBay Germany that is. Um, you know, normally I'm not that much into Allied armor. I normally build my German armor and that's what I do. But I still have a diorama that I want to, to do with my American and English boxing match. And the British Sherman that I had, I thought sucked. So I went out and got me this, or I actually had, had that gotten for me by my girlfriend. Or, no, I didn't. Well, she said, buy whatever you want. I bought this. And, um, yes, um, the box, as you can see, is a smaller one, but still it's stuffed and it's heavy. And uh, here on the side, we've got five different marking options. They're all Sicily, and one is Tunisia. On the sides of the box, we have the box art again, which I think is rather nice, in Naples. Italy. And on the back of the box we have cat drawings. Just as we do on this side of the box. But without further ado, let me open the box and let's take a look inside. And see Paul, I'm having the same problems that you had opening this box as the lid it's just a tad too small to open comfortably. You got me. There you go. All right, let's uh, browse through it and let's see what we got. We have Dragon Typical Blue and White Instruction Sheet. We have the typical Model Master callouts here for the paints, some uh, advice for uh, what to do, what not to do, special advice for the Dragon DS tracks, the build of the Sherman, the bogeys, tons of bogeys. Three for each side, six in total. Different uh, driving housings you can choose from. And the sad part is it does not tell you which is which or for which variant you would use either one. We install the bogies. We build the hatches. Maybe I'm gonna put one open. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but yeah. Um. Build all kinds of stuff, fuel hedges, tools, tons of tools, photo edge clamps, nice, uh, rivets, but glue on the rivets, yes, yay, awesome, um, turret hedges, it calls out for dacles either to be put on the turret or on the back of the hull, which I quite don't understand to put a dackle, a huge dackle, on the engine deck. I know that you want to be, well, able to identify that thing from air, but if you put a huge thing on the engine deck that's just saying, hey German fighters, shoot me! Turret construction, main gun, turret bin, two different options here, Tur turret basket, the Browning machine gun, nicely detailed I guess, some photo edge side skirts and stuff like that. Yeah, that sets tails the construction. And we got the five color callouts with dark holes in the end. So let's just see what we've got plastic wise. We have the S tracks. Yay! 
Although I've had the Sherman DS tracks before and they are perfectly, you can work with them perfectly. There's no problem. Absolutely no problem. So I'm quite happy with those. We got the Dragon Card with Photo Defenders, which I think is a nice touch. Although they are picked to work with. I had those for the earlier British Sherman too. A nice colorful Dackle shade, clear parts, and metal towing cable. Let's start with the styrene then. We got the turret. I don't like the fact that the turret is in the spur and it has for sprue gates that you have to clean up because it has really nice orange peel texture and once you have to cut that out you will lose the texture on those points which is quite a pity I might have to go over that with uh, Mr. Surfacer one of the wheel uh, the, the, the drive housing here uh, the vision ports gun mantlets two of them Actually, three nice. All of them carry nice um, orange peel texture. Pretty nice touch. Let's continue with that back. That contains the upper and lower hull, and the wheels and bogies. No flash whatsoever. Really nice, nice crisp molds. Absolutely stunning to me. Not gonna cut the backs open guys, I'm sorry, but yeah. Once again I hope that this new overhead camera view is better for you guys. This is a nice nice touch here on that engine housing. In addition to the nice um, texture we got some molded on number numbers and markings. And the turret basket and the browning machine gun which is really really nicely detailed. Really nice detail there on the machine gun down there. Really, really, really nice. And then we got whoa! That this is one one bag full with the uh, three spurs, another engine uh, drive sprocket housing, uh, lower hull, uh, upper hull detail tools. The light guards. More bogies and wheels. Woo! There's some flash, but it's not on the parts. That's nice. Sprockets. And idler wheels. Yeah. So it's not a lot of. Sorry, the back a second. Sorry for the interruption, but my neighbors rang the doorbell. So, summing up the kit, there's not a lot of plastic in there, but what you get looks good to me. And uh, I like the fact that you have those multiple sprocket housings. I really like the fact that you get those because that allows you to mix and match. Or not mix and match, but to have a, a bit of uh, flexibility in what you want to build. I will have to do some research on uh, exactly what each housing well represents, what, what, what vehicle each housing represents, if there are differences or if it's just, well, production difference. Um, anyway, for the price I paid, that's an awesome kit. I think that the photo edge for that kit is worth the money I paid for that kit. 19.99 by the way euro so if you happen to go buy German eBay and you type in dragon 135th scale you might find it uh, just as you might find the Vorpanzer um yeah really nice kit we'll go in the stash to be built sometime in the future and not in the way other people do it put it there never get it back out because their stashes is too big. Uh, are too big. Right, Paul? Too big a stash. Give me your kids. And, uh, <laughs> and I will build this sometime in the future. 
I don't know. Maybe after I get my degree. Maybe before. You never know. And, uh, and then I will come back and build that diorama that I have in mind with the American tank and the boxing match. But uh, until then, once again, nice kit that is. Um, I think that's all I have to say about it. Is thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you like the new camera angle from over the, from up top. And uh, I guess I'll see you around in the next video. May the force always be with you. This is Hot Modeling. Bye, guys.